Hello and welcome to a, another edition to my eclectic, jumbled up YouTube channel. Today I am going to be walking you guys through how to connect jewellery, face masks and camping up your metahumans. This was requested by this lovely commenter on my first video, so if you haven't seen that please do check it out and yeah. So here I just have a scene with a customized metahuman. It's in a bit of a funny um, abstract bodysuit moment that I was just playing around with. Imported a mask and I'm just going to show you the most straightforward way of attaching your masks first. So this mask was downloaded from Sketchfab and it's by Floyink. That's fun. Floyink. Floyink. And what do we have here? So I'm going to drag it in, resize it using the snapping and it probably could have been adjusted in the import but I am lazy. Beautiful. What we're going to do is we are going to create a level sequence by hitting cinematics level sequence and just name it whatever you want to. I'm going to go in attach, track and track the metahuman and your accessory to sequencer. So this is a shot based solution which I use because it's the kind of quickest way that I know but if you want it to be consistently throughout your scene, um, I, that's gonna be in method two, but if you just wanna like create a render and you want something to be attached to your metahuman and def like deform with the rig, then this is the best way to do it. So for a gener more general attachment, we are going to select our mask and then hit attach new binding or existing binding and put it, connect it to your meta face. So you go into face and then here is your rig. So if you go ahead and find the head bone, which is here, it will then disappear. You will go, what the hell is going on? But you'll see that this attachment track is added to your sequencer. So what we're gonna do is click on the attachment track middle mouse button on the work your scene your work your scene <laughs> got a middle mouse button on your scene so you're in this space and click f and that will find your um little guy so this is what i mean so it doesn't really matter about the first positioning you're gonna have to go and find it and then rotate it all again which is the kind of main disadvantage of this approach but um i think it's still useful anyway beautiful okay i like it like this and then what you will find is now that we have attached the head the piece headpiece to the head if you grab the rig and you move it it is now attached because it has a connect so this looks pretty badass Unfortunately, because this um, object is not rigged to the character, if you move it, it will just move underneath it. And I don't think that if you open the jaw, for example, yeah, it doesn't follow along, obviously, because it's a static mesh. But this is just the basic method of attaching something. It could be a hat, it could be a helmet, it could be a face piece like this and you end up getting a nice um, attachment that you can adjust where the parenting is. And here we have the final attachment, which I think looks pretty cool. So that is method one of connecting something to your metahuman. Okay, so for a more permanent solution that is a little bit less finicky, 
consistently um, to have to connect everything between each shot. What we're going to do is go into the blueprint of the metahuman, click the viewport, focus in on the head, oh maybe not that much, and then we're going to import the mask into this scene. So as you can see, a bit too big now. Nice. Then for the material, pop the same one that you've had in there, and there you go. She is inside there. I'm gonna bring it underneath the face. We're gonna go to parent socket, browse, and go to head. bombastic side eye close now in our sequencer she follows along so now this is between different sequences the editor and the parent will work so that is two methods based on shot dependent or just completely throughout the scene i find myself usually attaching in the sequencer because the main pros of that is that you can swap stuff around so say for example you have an animation of like the mask being taken off you can then change the connection point to, from the face to the hand or you can swap them out and edit like this if you want to do something with the ears for example you would change the connection point from the head to the ear so i can show you inside of the blueprint and that means that with the rig you can then deform the ears thank you so much for joining me on this mini tutorial on how to connect things to your metahuman i hope you can do some really cool stuff with it yeah See you soon. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to show your support for my little baby tiny eeny weeny teeny child of a channel, you can buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee makes supporting fun and easy, where in a couple of taps you can buy me a coffee, leave a message, and you don't even have to create an account. So if you'd like me to keep up with this tutorial type of beat, then this is the best way to tell me that. Um, yeah, thank you so much and see you in the next one.